Good morning. Welcome back to our virtual reading lab. Today, we're going to be talking about something called digraphs. Now, parents, I do not expect kindergartners or first graders to know the term digraphs. I'm just saying it so that you can, if you want to know what we're talking about. So just for the parents, digraphs are two or three letters that make one sound, okay? So for my kinders and first graders, we're going to talk about the H brothers, all right? So the H brothers, they all have a special two letter or sometimes three letters that go together and they make one sound, okay? You don't sound them out, okay? You put them together. So what I'm going to do is pull this a little bit closer so you can see the poster better. All right, here we go. So we're going to start off with this brother right here. His name is Wit. And he is kind of in charge of the WH sound. I want you to look at his lips if you can see them, okay? He's whistling, so he's making. That's the sound a WH makes. Okay, it's kind of a. See how my lips go in a circle? Okay, and that's how his lips are kind of going like he's going to whistle. Right? So when you sound these words out, these two go together and you only say one sound. So you would say it, wit, wit. Okay? Here we've got wh, who, ip, whip, wh, aisle, while, wh, ale, whale, and wh, ite, white. Okay? So the WH goes together and makes one sound. Wh, Okay, so try that sound. Look at my lips. Ooh, good. All right, next up we have the brother. His name is Theo. This brother, he's in charge of the TH sounds, okay? And look at how his tongue is sticking out, okay? And that's because the TH, when you make the sound correctly, your tongue's gonna come out. All right, so you go ahead and you stick your tongue out at me and you say, good, and put your teeth on top of your tongue. Excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. So when we say these sounds, we say th in, thin. Okay, this one is a sight word. Can't sound it out, but we know the TH says th, and this is th. How about this one? Th. We got math. And TH, just so you know, is a stretchy sound, so we can hold on to it. So math. Math. And this one is p -ath path. Good. And every single time I said that TH sound, my tongue came out. Okay? Good. So go ahead and try to make the TH sound. Excellent. All right. Next up, the brother is Charles. This is baby Charles. Baby Charles has actually two ways to spell his sound. He has a CH and a TCH. Now, it's kind of hard. There are slight rules. They're a little complicated. Most of the time, um, when it's at the end of a word, you'll hear, you'll see the TCH spelling, but you can see not always, okay? But one thing is TCH is never in the beginning of a word, okay, or beginning of a syllable. That will always be CH, okay? So look at how he's showing his teeth right here. When we make this sound, we say ch, ch. So look at my teeth, they're close together, and my lips are kind of going, or, 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 okay? So ch, ch, ch. Good, now you make ch. Good, okay, so when we do that, here's how we go. Rich, and ch is a bouncy sound, so you gotta bounce right off it pretty quick, okay? So let's try it again. Rich. Rich, watch, watch. These are kind of weird sounds. This one says air, okay? So, ch air, chair, ch in, chin. Good. So make the ch sound. Good job. All right, next to the brother we have. And I couldn't find a picture I like, so I tried to draw one, so, you know. And it's the PH sound, and this is fill. And when you make the PH sound, it's actually the same sound as an F, okay? So watch my mouth. 
Okay, we put these teeth on top of your lip and it says Okay, so we have ill, fill. Okay, next here we have photo, photo. Here is phone, phone. This is a big one, but you might know this word. Ready? Alphabet, alphabet. Good. So, how do I make the ph sound? What's it sound like? Good job. All right, the last brother we have here, there's five brothers in this family. The last brother we have is Sherman. And you can see here, Sherman's going shh. Now if I were to pull Sherman's finger down shh, you can see my teeth again are kind of close together, but my lips this time, instead of ch, ch, out, my lips are shh, closer together, okay? So make that shh sound. Good. So when we make it, again, it goes together. So here we go. Oh, and sh is a stretchy sound, all right? Lash, lash, shop, shop, ship, ship, brush, brush. Good. All right, so these are the H brothers, okay? We have one more digraph, and I'm noticing this is not a great color for me to use on the video because it's hard to see. But this other digraph we're gonna talk about is a CK, all right? CK. CK goes together and it says K, okay? K, K is a sound that's back in the back of your throat. K, K. Your lips are open, your teeth are open slightly, and you're making that sound back here, okay? So when you, uh, typically, you would use CK at the end of a word after a vowel. So if I have this one, it is, and CK is a bouncy sound. Lock, thick, okay? So those are the digraphs that you're gonna be working on this week in your packet, all right? Practice saying those sounds, practice reading those sounds. And later on in the week, I'll have another activity for you to do if you want on the Google Classroom. All right? Have a great day, everybody.